Hi everybody, I wanted to take some time now and show you guys uh, some of the eye stuff that we use um, and some of our shades and I'm going to show you like some tricks that I use to put on my eye makeup. So I wanted to first start today though and show you um, really quickly some of the things that we offer as far as eyes. Um, we do have three palettes that are available. The first one is palette number one. This one is um, really pretty for summer. It's got a lot of golds and browns. This is the one I use, so that's why it looks like this. But uh, it's perfect for summer. It's a little on the warm side, but if you, I have very cool undertones and I'm able to wear this. So um, if you like browns and neutral, those kinds of shades, this this would be perfect for you. I'm throwing it around. Um, palette number two is um, also one that I really like. This is a lot of grays and blacks and silvers. So um, definitely on the cool side, but anybody can wear it. Um, and it's great for a smoky eye look. So that's palette number two for today. I'm actually going to use palette number three. I just got this in the mail, so I'm really excited to try it out. Um, and it's purples and pinks and um, also perfect for a smoky eye. Um, I'll show you the, some of the ways that you can wear this, but um, so today I'm going to um, use palette number three for my eye makeup that will give you some tips on how you can use the products. Uh, just to kind of show you some of the other things we offer for the eye, um, we offer eye pigments. These pigments are so nice. They come in um, a little little jar like this, and for example, like this is the color Glamorous. It's a purple shade. Um, I don't know if you can really see that very well, but it's, um, I use it, um, with browns and, um, other shades. So that's glamorous just to kind of show you, um, this is sexy, which is a very light color. And I use this as a highlight a lot of times. You can see that's, it's super pretty. And then... Just, um, I'll show you one more just so you can kind of see. This is Confident. This is a brown gold. And a lot of times I will wear those three together. So you can kind of see. So that's that's our pigments. And we have so many different shades. We have shimmery pigments and we have matte pigments. So whichever one you prefer, um, obviously you can use. And they're, they're only $12.50 a piece, so you can stock up on those and get multiple shades, and they last a really long time. Um, another thing that you can use with our shadows are our splurge shadows. And I love these. I was never a cream shadow girl. I never liked them. They never went on right. I just was not a fan um, until I tried our splurge. And I love them. Um, this is a color called Dreamy. Um, it's, they're sparkly, they go on super smooth, and you can put them on with your, with your finger. I use our, our cream shadow brush, but I'm going to show you a couple of the other colors. I really, I use this Elegant a lot when I use palette number one, and I use this in the corner of my eye. Um, let me show you. That's this one. Super pretty. And then I also have... Dainty, which is I'm gonna use that today. It's a purpley shade. Um, it's right here. And um, I have a darker shade that I wear with Dainty a lot, and it's called Noble. And um, you can see here, it's right next to it. So I kind of put a lot on there, but you can kind of see that they're all very shimmery. They go on really smooth. And a lot of times I'll wear one of these with just a little um, mascara if I'm going to go to work or something where I don't need um, a whole lot of makeup. So those are definitely something to try out because I literally love these sport shadows. So I'm going to keep out Dainty because I'm going to use that one today. So that's a little bit about our eye stuff and um, our eyeshadows. Super, super nice. Um, I've used all the Naked palettes. I've used MAC. I've used um, all of that. And these are very comparable. And um, the color is, I just, I, I absolutely love it. So we're going to go ahead and start. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is um, use this color Determined, which is the third one in here, um, all over to kind of um, give my eye a nice base to work from. So I'm going to kind of do this on the fly because I'm not really sure exactly what colors I'm going to use. <laughs> We're just going to wing it. So this just gives a nice like base to uh, blend into for the rest of your shadows. So pretty. And then um, I'm going to use this this color called Smitten, which is a like a light shimmery shade. I'm going to use that on my brow bone and in the corner of my eye just to lighten it up. You can see it just gives it a real pretty highlighted look. Okay. Um, so the next color I am going to use um, is um, Flippant, which is this purple shade. And I'm going to use that on... Um, the inside corner of my eye. Just to give it some color. It's a real pretty light purpley shade. I'm lucky in the fact that I have blonde hair and my skin is light, so my palette is not, um, it's basically a blank slate, so I can wear any color. Um, I'm going to use this ecstatic color. This is really pretty. Um, on the middle of my eye, down to the back side of my crease. And we'll blend all this together too. You can kind of see, this is going to be like a dark, smoky eye. Um, the next color I'm going to use is um, this cheeky color, which is this real pretty sparkling color. And I'm going to use that in my crease. Um, you don't have to use um, these darker colors with this palette. You can use lighter colors. I like a dramatic eye, so I am used to wearing it. You can, if this is a look that you like, you can um, kind of do it a little at a time. So I am going to blend now. Just blend it all together. And I'll clean up with my foundation brush. I use that brush um, with the remainder of what's on the brush from my found, putting my foundation on to clean up my eye, under my eye. As you can see, it's kind of starting to take shape. So what I do is just take whatever um, is on the rest of my brush, under my brush, and just clean up under my eye. Some people, another tip, um, but until you get used to kind of doing this, um, you will get shadow all over your eye. Um, you can do your eyes first and then do your foundation and makeup because then you can, before you do your actual makeup, you can use a makeup wipe and clean that area. So that's another tip that you can do. I don't get mine that messy, so this works for me, but, okay. So next thing I'm going to do is use a little bit of Dainty, and I am going to use our um, cream shadow brush. This is what this looks like. I'm 
I'm just going to use a little bit to kind of put in the corner of my eye just to lighten up my eye a little bit and give it a little bit of sparkle. I love these shadows for this. They're perfect. And it, see, it just gives it a little bit of shimmer and lightens it up just a little bit. Just in the inner part of your crease in your eye. Do a little more on the other side. So you can see it just gives a real pretty, and then I use a little bit of the shadow cream shadows in my tear duct and in the corner of my eye just to lighten that area up a little bit it just lightens it up just a little bit as you can see it's super pretty and it's easy it's not that hard um, some people are intimidated my advice to you is just sit in front of a mirror and play um, that's the easiest way to to learn how to to do makeup if you're if you're not somebody that does it all the time so the next thing apologize, I dropped next thing I'm going to do um, for my eyes is um, our brow pencil. I'm just going to touch up my eyebrows just a little bit. I just had them waxed yesterday so they don't look terrible and I just fill in some of the areas that I know are um, a little bit sparse. Your eyebrows frame your face so you definitely have to do something with them. Make sure that they're Um, they just help to frame your face a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to use our um, Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in Powerful. So this is like a gray color. I thought this would look really pretty with this um, makeup. Uh, just so I can be a little accurate with it. I'm going to look in a different mirror. But I'll still be able to show you how I do it. I go three quarters of the way on the bottom because that helps to open your eye up and makes your eye look um, wider, brighter. Little tip of, tip, trick of the trade. So I don't wear my eyeliner all the way to the bottom because it makes your eye look smaller. I use it just in the outer corners and it helps make your eye look, eye look brighter. And then for my brow or top line, I'm going to do, my eye's pretty dramatic with this, so I'm not going to do um, a winged liner today. I'm just going to do some to open my eye up a little bit. Always make sure you get your liner all the way to your lash line. You can see it's pretty. I don't know if you can still see. Our gel liners are um, a felt tip pen. As you can see, it's really sharp um, so you can be very accurate with it and that gray looks good with this because it's not too harsh but it looks really pretty I think um, so now I'm gonna do our 3d fiber mascara um, to finish this eye look I love this stuff um, 
it's I, I I can't even rave about it enough. So um, the the way that I do it is I take my tube and I swirl the brush around um, to kind of mix it up and get the transplanting gel. And I clean off my brush. And I put my transplanting gel on one eye. I just give it a good coat. I get the tops of my lashes too so that the fibers have something to stick to. Okay. And then I take the fibers and I rolled my brush on my hand like this, um, just to kind of get them all together on the brush, and it helps make it so it's not clumpy. And then I just give it a good coat. And then um, I'm gonna leave this eye and go to my next eye. So that gives the fibers uh, time to um, adhere it's gonna do the same thing to this eye I make sure I get the tops of my lashes as well I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll my brush just so my fibers are, and I'm going to give it a good coat. Some people will try to put too many fibers on right now, and the better way is to just put a nice even coat on, and if you want more volume, then go back over it with a second coat. And I'm going to let those have time to adhere. And I am going to go back over and then seal those fibers with transplanting gel. My mailman's here and I see little white unique boxes. Yay! I love it. Can't get enough. And then I do my bottom lashes with just transplanting gel. I wonder what goodies came today. I'm super excited. Um, so the same thing, um, I'll go back over this eye with transplanting gel and do the bottoms of my lashes this time as well. I wear contacts. I don't have any issue with... Um, the fiber is getting in my eye or under my face or anything like that. Um, I think it's because I do, if, I, if I'm if i going to put a lot on, I do multiple coats. But for the majority, um, this is enough for me. I only use the one coat. And I love this stuff. I work 12 hours. Um, I'm a nurse. And I never um, get black circles. I used to get like black circles in my eyes because my eye makeup would come off my eyes. I don't get that with Unique. So, um, so I'm super excited. I, I absolutely love it. And you can see my eye look is done. It's um, a real pretty purple, um, gray, smoky eye. Um, and my eyelashes look amazing. Wow. Love it. Um, so I'm just going to touch up my face a little bit more just to make sure that I cleaned up all the stuff under my face, under my eyes. And um, I'm going to go back with my sculpting trio now and use the, a little bit 
you put it on with your finger. And just a little bit of um, highlight here. And you can see it just gives a really nice gold shimmery highlight. Yay! So rather than make another video about my lips, I'm just going to go ahead and do them on this video because there's not really a whole lot. Um, I'm going to use Palti as far as my lip liner. And I am going to use Conceited, which is a real pretty pink color. Because I thought the pink would go per good with the purple. So I'm just going to line my lips. And when I line my lips, I line basically all of my lips. By lining your lips, you give your um, lipstick something to adhere to, and it helps to make it last longer. And it helps it from bleeding. So there's my pouty. And then this is our, um, this is Conceited. This is our lipsticks. They're really pretty. And it just gets like a real pretty pink, I think, to go with my purple eye. So here's my finished product um, of my makeup. I love it. It looks good. Um, if you have any questions on how to do things or if you want to see things, um, I'm by all means, I will, I will do another video and show you how to do it. So um, like I said, the makeup is amazing. My face doesn't even feel like I have anything on. Um, I love, this is palette number three. Um, you can do so much with it. So um, I hope that you guys are learning and um, that you try our products because they are amazing. I'm, I really, really, absolutely, 100% stand behind um, unique products. And like I said, I'm a makeup girl. So that's saying something. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up. If you want to host a party so you can get um, lots of free products, then hit me up. And if you're interested in um, taking the next step and becoming a presenter um, for unique products, by all means, hit me up. Um, have a great week, everybody.